Mr. Ashcroft, I need you in the control room, quickly. What's wrong, Flash? We're out of control, 18 degrees off course. The rudder is frozen, I can't move it. Flash, we've lost tele radio contact with GBI headquarters on Earth. Commissioner Torgerson had called us in and was just giving me an important message when the circuit went dead, and I can't get him back. What's happened in there? The controls are frozen. Flash, look at the super gyro. It's completely off sync. Yes, I know. Sky Flash is caught in some strange type of magnetic flow. We're being drawn off our orbit of flight. What's the barrier? 19 degrees now. Better check your chart, Dale. See where our present course will lead us. Yes, sir. Dr. Zykoff, see what you can do with the controls. I'll try to reestablish contact with Commissioner Torkins. All right, Flash. Going crash, Flash. Going crash, Flash. Flash Jordan on Spaceship Skyflash calling GBI headquarters on Earth. This is an SOS. Clear all channels. Flash Gordon on Skyflash calling Commissioner Torgensen. Come in, Commissioner Torgensen. Come in, GBI on Earth. Going crash, Flash. Going crash, Flash. Come in, GBI on Earth. Come in, GBI on Earth. Nothing but static. We can't get through to the contact commission of our We've got to pick you. Get out. Mm. Dorgensen, have you made any progress? Have you been able to contact Flash Gordon? Not yet, sir. You must reach him. Reports are flooding in from all over the world of complete mechanical paralysis. Transportation is at a standstill. Factories are shut down. So far as I can determine, sir, some new force is creating a disturbance. A distortion. A kind of valuable magnetic ray that destroys all mechanical timing factors. Where's the source? We don't know yet. We are pretty sure it's coming from outer space, but we don't know where. Get through to Flash Gordon, Commissioner. That's an order. He and Zarkov are the only agents who can track this menace down. Get through to him. We are doing our best. But the ray has cut off all contact with the outer space. Keep trying. You must get through to Flash. And keep in contact with this office. scientists interviewed by this reporter have been able to explain how or why this mechanical paralysis has gripped every machine on Earth. The strange thing is that only the mechanics of every type of machine is affected, not the electrical circuits. Thus, radio and teleradio communications remain open. We still don't have communications with outer space, but I'll keep trying to contact Flash Gordon. GBI headquarters on Earth, calling Flash Gordon and the spaceship Skyflash. Come in, Skyflash. Come in, Skyflash. Flash Gordon on spaceship Skyflash, calling GBI headquarters on Earth. Come in, come in. GBI headquarters on Earth, calling Flash Gordon and the spaceship Skyflash. Come in, Skyflash. Come in, Skyflash. Flash Gordon on spaceship Skyflash, calling GBI headquarters on Earth. Calling Commissioner Torgensen. Come in, Commissioner Torgensen. Come in. Absolutely nothing. Gonna crash, Flash. Gonna crash, Flash. Have you charted our orbit, Dale? Just finishing. Look. We're gonna show this to Dr. Zarko. What do you make of this, Dr. Zarko? I double-checked everything. I'm sure my computations are right. This course could take us right out of our galaxy, right into the furthest corner of the universe completely unexplored. I don't think we'll get quite that far, Flash. According to the table of planetary incidents, there's an uncharted planet of our own galaxy somewhere in this area. My hunch is that we're headed directly toward its orbit. Can you explain the force that's drawing us in that direction, Dr. Zarko? Oh, no, I can't, Dale. But it's not a natural phenomenon. There's a brain behind it, and a reason. We're being sucked through space into a trap. Why? Someone... Something here knows the answer.
The Earth people will land at Site 682. Bring them to me at once. It seems electronically alive. An amazing sight. Looks like some great pulsating jewel. Fascinating. We'd better get in a crash position. Yes, sir. If your crash velocity indicator is infinity, I have no idea of the density of this planet's atmosphere. You will come with us. Where? You will come with us. Now look, let it go with them, like Not much choice. Follow. This is steering on planet S, calling GBI headquarters on Earth. This is steering on planet S, calling GBI headquarters on Earth. I will speak with Commissioner Torgensen. I will speak with Commissioner Torgensen. This is steering on planet S. I will speak with Commissioner Torgensen. I'm pulling on audio. Someone calling on the science back way, then. It's Commissioner Torgensen. Listen very carefully, Commissioner. Do exactly as you're told. In precisely 24 hours, you will assemble at Intergalactic Skyport 100 of the Earth's outstanding scientists and technicians. I will give you their names in a subsequent message. They are to be put aboard a spaceship and await further instructions. Who is this? Where are you calling from? This is he who holds the power of life and death over your planet. Ask no further questions. Obey orders. That is my command. You are my prisoner. You will do exactly what you are told to do. At the moment, the very existence of the Earth you inhabit 
It is my report. Who are you? I am Searing. And I am he who commands. You, Mr. Flesh God, are merely he who obeys. Why did you bring us here? To obey order? You order me? Dr. Sarkis. You are a scientist. I detest scientists. I have liquidated them from this planet once. I heard what I wanted from their minds. However, I find now that I was too hasty. There are newly discovered forces over which I desire control, so for a time, scientists will again be permitted to work on this planet. And just where do you expect to get them? You cannot push a button and create a science. No. But I can push a button and force every scientist on Earth to come and do my bidding. You're mad. Am I? Listen to me. Five nine. On your Earth. It is a strange sight to see the sky with no rocket ship traffic in it. And frightening to see the turbines that power our light supply frozen still. The reserve power that is now giving us light will soon be exhausted. And that's only the beginning. More will come. Unless I get the scientists I demand. I want the names of the hundred leading scientists on Earth. You, Dr. Sacco, will give me their name. Not a name. Not a single name. Give me their name. No. Never. Oh. But you will. And soon. Take them away. Bring them to their cell. Remember, Sato. A hundred men. A hundred men. intellect in the universe. What are they going to do to us? Take it easy, Dale. What does he want the scientists for, Doctor? It's obvious. To take control of the entire galaxy. He already has the power to paralyze all the machines, immobilize every power plant on Earth. A distortion ray? Mm, something of the sort, I judge. It evidently breaks into the electronic field, stops every battery, every magneto dead in its tracks. <laughs> Remember in the throne room when I hit the guard? I clipped him square on the button and he didn't even move an eyebrow. When my fist landed, it felt like I was hitting hard clay. Not robot? Flash. Maybe. What do you think, Dale? They could be robot flash, but I think they may be androids. Androids? You mean men made in the machines? That's right. And we ran up against something like that two years ago on our towers, remember? And my plan may work after all. Keep your fingers crossed. Guard! Hey, guard! Where is it? 
start with the field of astrophysics, Dr. Stock. I want the names of the five leading astrophysicians on Earth. Guy! Guy! Take me to Searing. I'll give him names Dr. Zarkov never heard of. Take me to Searing. You stay here. Listen, if Searing will release the girl, I'll promise to work with him. Make sure that Dr. Zarkov is giving him the right names. Yes? Prisoner Flash Gordon requests interview. Bring him to me. Begin, Dr. Sarkin. The names of the five leading astrophysicians on Earth. Dr. Frank Inbrook. Dr. Emil Lacart. Dr. George. Winterman, of the two biochemists. Stephen Mosick. Lawrence Cresson. Searing on planet S. Calling GBI headquarters on Earth. Commissioner Torgensen, I have your order. Come in, Commissioner Torgensen. GBI headquarters on Earth. Come in. I have your order. This is Commissioner Torgensen. Have my preliminary orders been obeyed? The spaceships are ready. Good. I will now give you the names of the scientists I require. It will be your responsibility to see that each and every one is aboard the spaceship within 24 hours. And suppose they refuse? They will not refuse. Remind them that the fate of the galaxy depends upon their prompt and unquestioning submission to my order. Here are the names. Get them right. I will tolerate no mistake. Dr. Frank Innsbruck. Dr. Emile Lacarte. Dr. Herbert Watson. Nerfstern. Dr. Tom Waker. Dr. Martin Paul. Dr. Howard Hammond. Dr. Jeffrey Beard. I feel we've got to act fast. Dr. I'm going to try to work my way to a point behind Siri. In exactly 20 counts, push the statue over. Push it over? I say 20 counts from now. Dr. Antonio Gambrini. Dr. Pierre Poignac, Dr. Alfred Taylor, Dr. Francesco Tomaro, Dr. Edith Byrne, Dr. Patrick Reddy, Dr. Sven Jorgensen, Dr. George Winterman, Dr. Patricia Mean, Dr. Pretty good at giving orders, Searing. Let's see how fast you can take them. Deactivate the electronic distorter. Cut it off. Do as I order. Cut it off. No one can do that but me. Not the real on Earth returns without my permission. 
You can't destroy me, Flesh Garden Play. If you destroy me, you will destroy the Earth. Your last chance, Siri. Cut off the electronic distorter. Never! The Earth will roughen it on paralysis before I release it. Android, take him to the cell. No. No! Make them get back! Make them get back! It's your last chance, Siri! Stand where you are. Step back. Black, we better check with the mission target. Flash Gordon calling Commissioner Torgensen. Come in, Commissioner Torgensen. Flash Gordon calling Commissioner Torgensen. Come in, please. Flash, are you all right? I thought that's Aqua. Dale. All okay. Searing is our prisoner. Check to see if electronic distorter is cut off. Hold on. We check it. The latest report from the Galaxy Minister of Industry shows no change. The mechanical paralysis continues. There seems to be... Wait. Bulletin. Not 30 seconds ago, the paralysis stopped. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, machines all over the world are again moving. Everything's moving, Flash. Everything's back to normal. Flash, you've done a terrific job. Thanks, Commissioner. Flash, destroy the electronic distorter. Make sure it can never again be used to paralyze the Earth. Will do, Commissioner. Dale, Dr. Sarkoff, get out of the line of fire. Android, here it is. Your target is the electronic distorter. No. Take aim. No, you can't. You can't destroy it. Ready? No. Fire. No. What a horrible way to die. Guide is all who would rule with force and injustice, violently. Flash, what about these androids? They're only machines with no life, and now that Searing's dead, no purpose. They serve no good, Dale. They and the machines that control them were created for evil. Both must be destroyed. You are right, Flash. They can serve no good purpose. Nothing can bring these men made into machines back to life. Androids, hear this. Turn your guns on the control machine. Fire! <laughs> 